Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all continuing to stay healthy and safe and well and just thriving in this last month of the year, doing some holiday shopping. I will have a luxury holiday gift guide out next week. So all the items will be under a thousand dollars, but they'll all still be a luxury. So affordable, luxury, what's better than that? This video <laughs> i'm looking at all the stuff in front of me this video er, is going to be on all the items that i purchased last month during sort of the sale season i guess you would say um some of it's from black friday but honestly a lot of the online realtors online realtors in store as well had their sales earlier this year so i definitely took advantage of that i did get a handbag that was on my 2021 wish list so i'm really excited to finally have that in my hands so Without further ado, let's just get into the good stuff right now. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is going to be the handbag that was on my wish list. So if you watch that video, you probably know by the thumbnail that it is by Jacques Mousse. I'm really excited. I haven't used these items yet because I've just been waiting. Well, one, one thing I have used, but I really love to sort of show you everything first. So I did take it out. I did take a peek at it already. So it's not like an unboxing at all, but this is it right here. Oh my gosh, sorry. It's gonna get like super blown out. I'm working with natural light, which, you know, it's after work, so it's fading. But this is the, Jacques Mousse Le Grand Bambino in white. So this was the color that was on my wish list. I did end up picking up sort of the tan color they came out with, but there was a lot of defects with it. You can watch my video, I'll link it somewhere here, but there's a lot of creasing here on the original one. This one has zero creasing. I don't know if you can see when I open it up, there's nothing there. I love that. That's so satisfying, that magnetic snap that you kind of hear, but um, I was really excited to finally get this into my wardrobe. I don't have any white bags, and I think that I can wear this now in the winter as well as in the summer too. I feel like I can wear this all year round, and I'm just really excited. It's such a gorgeous piece. It does have an adjustable um strap here i'll do a couple of modeling shots as well so you can kind of see what it looks like but like i said this is the le grand bambino um so it's not the smaller size this is the largest size even though it is still a very small bag but if you want to see an in-depth review on this i can definitely do one because there aren't a ton of videos on this size um on youtube so there you go it's just an empty space with one sort of slot there and then the back also has a place for you to put some car, like a card or maybe like a parking stub or something like that. But I'm really excited because like I said, I've wanted this for quite some time. The white always sells out. The white is currently sold out. This is regular 838, I believe here in Canada. And I did get this for $200 off. So such a steal. I'm really, really excited to have this. Quickly, I just want to show you what it would kind of look like on. I'm just wearing a sweatsuit because I'm at home, but I threw on like a thick wool jacket over top. So here is the Bambino. I do like my handbags to hit fairly high up. So this is the second to shortest sort of notch. You can see I am 5'5", five five, so it's hitting fairly high up. Without sort of the bulky sweatshirt and the wool jacket, it would probably hit a little bit lower. But this is what it looks like sort of on my frame. You can see even though it is like the grand size, it's still not like a really big bag. It's still like a little bit of a smaller bag. So I do love that. Second handbag purchase wasn't planned. It was a little bit of an impulse, but I have loved this style handbag for quite some time. It's one of the trendy handbags of this year, I would say of 2021. Um, so I had originally seen it probably back in the spring time. Um, tons of influencers were sort of showing it off on Instagram. I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I actually remember sending it to one of my friends and like showing her the handbag. Um, and I didn't pick that version up. It was a canvas version. I should just show you. They came out, so Chloe came out with a winter version of this bag and I thought, okay, that's pretty cute. The color, the palette just sort of matches my lifestyle a little bit better. So you can tell by the straps what it might be. It is the Woody bag. But I picked it up in this color here, which I think is called cashmere gray. But this one here is made, it's 
sort of, I guess, their winter version. It's made from a recycled felt. So this is supposed to be sort of one of their sustainable handbags, I guess you would say. The fabric from it, you could get this in the canvas. They do have a leather version as well, but this is the felt version of it. So it's this beautiful gray felt canvas, and then it has the white ribbon that says Chloe, or it's a, I guess it's more like an off-white. And then it has black leather accents there with the white stitching as well. It's just, it's beautiful. It's honestly so beautiful. And I wasn't sure because I've never seen this in person and I thought, okay, when I get it, maybe I'll return it. Maybe it just won't be for me. And then as soon as I opened it up, I thought, oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I totally get the hype of why people love this. I was a little bit hesitant. I feel like Chloe has been around forever, but I feel like they're known for a lot of really sort of on trend bag so sort of trendier pieces um but i think that this whole kind of book bag trend is here to stay at least i hope it is because i love this style i think it's gorgeous this is a medium so this is regular 13.65 here in canada i paid um 1000 with taxes i paid 1200 dollars just shy of 1200 dollars canadian so um, the Holt Renfrew was having a pretty good sale on this. Uh, when I bought it, literally about an hour later, they were all sold out. So it went very fast. They had this one and then the actual cashmere one as well on sale. So this is quite structured, I will say that, but it's not as bad as that Burberry one that I had. I actually sold that. Um, this one, and like I said, I'll show you once I kind of do some modeling shots, but this one here is a little bit smushier, like, you can kind of squish it against your body a little bit easier. So you can see it's a little bit softer than the one I had. Um, my Goyard St. Louis, which is my favorite tote, it's just so nice because it's so soft and it's so comfortable to wear. But I feel like this is kind of a good in-between. It does have the leather at the top straps there too. So you, when you carry it, um, let me flip this the right way. <clears throat> so when you carry it, you have that sort of leather grip there or when you put it on your shoulder it doesn't slip off so this is the medium um, the medium is what i wanted to go with the large was nice it's just way too big for what i carry on the daily basis as well the large the strap drop isn't as long and so i wanted to wear this in the winter over lots of different sort of wool coats so i knew that i needed sort of a longer strap drop so this is just a gorgeous piece on the inside like i said if you want me to do a detailed review i can definitely do one there's two patch pockets that are leather there and then there's a zippered pocket on the other side um and that's leather as well and then this is just the price oh so i can tell you yeah it was 13.65 regular and like i said with taxes um, which is 12% here in Vancouver or BC, it came up to just shy of $1,200. So I did save some money and that's just the authenticity stuff in there. But this does also hold my MacBook Air. I did put my MacBook Air in there. It holds quite a bit. So if you are looking for a work bag and perhaps you're looking for sort of that book style tote but you don't want to pay the Dior price, then definitely check out the Chloe Woody. I think the canvas is gorgeous. The leather is gorgeous as well. I really also like this wool version. I think you can wear this sort of in the fall, the winter, as well as transition it into the spring because our springs here are a little bit sort of wet and cooler as well. The sun is almost setting, so I feel like I keep changing colors throughout. Here is the Chloe tote. You can see the strap drop on me. I'm wearing, again, like a really big wool uh, or a really big sweatshirt and then this wool jacket. And you can see that I do have like quite a long strap drop and I had seen that on Chase Amy. The large size actually had a shorter strap drop. So I feel like the size is really good. And again, this color just looks so nice with, um, like even this camel wool coat and you could definitely also carry it sort of in the crook of your arm sort of like that and that's like just nice and comfortable and gorgeous too or if you wanted to you could just carry it sort of as is in your hand like that so I feel like if you are into the whole sort of book 
tote sort of trend or just like you are looking for like a really nice a light tote for the winter for work then this is just a really great option for the price so let's move on to the shoes and accessories really quickly i have three more items to show you so i did pick up an item by gani is it gani or gani i'm not sure please correct me if i'm wrong i typically say gani but um i have worn these once i'm really excited to show you it came with this little dust bag as well but i picked up the sort of infamous rubber boots. I believe they're actually called the city boots. They are, sometimes I see the city boots and the Chelsea boots, but I believe these are the city boots and they are in the color fossil. They are gorgeous. Like I feel like the color is coming up a little bit kind of brighter right now. I feel like they're a little bit more muted, but I just love the color of these. I love the contrast. I feel like even though there is some color to it, it is quite neutral. They are heavy, I will say that, but not too uncomfortable to wear because I obviously look for that when I'm buying boots and rain boots. And then the back just has Ghani there with some the rubberized sort of branding. All right, so my camera died and I don't know why because I charged the battery, so who knows. But now I'm filming on my phone, so hopefully the quality is okay. I did pick these up in my regular size, a 38. Um, I'm a size seven in general, and I typically always take a size a 38 um, euro. So this is them there. Uh, if you want a review on these, I can do one because there's not a ton on YouTube. I search them up and not a lot of people talk about how heavy they are or how comfortable they are, if it's easy to get your foot in and out of. So I can definitely do a review for you um, too. I got these for 255 Canadian on sale and these regular are 345. So I did save like a decent chunk of money there. So like I said, if you want sort of a review on them, I can definitely do that. But the tread on them is so good. Like you will not go slipping or sliding around at all. When I wore these the one time, it was a, like a storm and these held up so well and my feet were nice and dry. But it also comes with a dust bag too which I like. And then the next pair of shoes are these ones here and they are by New Balance. And I ended up picking up the 5740s. I wear my 530s quite often. Um, I am, like I said before, a size seven and those on the tag said they are a European 38. They're a little bit snug on me, which I don't know why, because I've always been a size seven in New Balance and Adidas and Nike, I'm, a, I'm like a size seven throughout. So um, I decided to size up in these ones. These ones are the 5740s. It says I got a size seven and a half. This is what it looks like. They're so cute. I'll put the actual name of the color here because I can't remember, but it's like this light sort of beige with white, silver, and then yellow accents and then black. So neutral, but like a little pop of color. Um, like I said, I got these in a size seven and a half, so I sized up half a size. But when I look on the inside, it says European 38. But when I look at the size sevens that I have in the 530s, what's well, a men's five and a half, which is equivalent to a woman's size seven, it says 38 as well. So these are a little bit snug on me. So I, I'm so mad. Like I'm so confused with New Balance's sizing. The last item I picked up is also by a Gani. I'm really excited for this. This is a toque or a beanie, whatever you want to call it. I typically say toque here in Canada. It just says Gani right here. And this is in the gray color, which is a little bit harder to find. Um, this is uh, part of their sort of, I believe Gani in general is sustainable. Like their boots have recycled rubber with it. This is 60% recycled wool as well. So it's very soft. It's soft because on the inside, and this is genius, the inside here has this like, it's not ribbed. It's made from the same kind of material, but it's really, it's almost softer than the rib sort of fabric. So the part on the top of your head is sort of softer. I think it's also good because it doesn't make your hair as frizzy. This was regular 135 Canadian and I got for a hundred. So it's a little bit pricier, but um, the quality is really good. It's also made in Italy. The boots are made in Portugal. So this is what it looks like. I tend to wear my toques high up kind of like this. 
so that you get that kind of like peak at the top but i love this i love to wear toques in the winter i feel like it's just such a fun accessory and then if you're having a bad hair day as well then this is just perfect so Yay, I'm really excited for this. I thought about getting one for my husband as well too, but um, he'll probably, he could probably wear this one as well. But um, yeah, that is everything that I bought and now my hair is gonna be a frizzy mess. So, so that's everything that I picked up from the sales in November. I'm really excited to have the Jacquemus bag finally in my collection as well as the Chloe. The Chloe's gorgeous too. So let me know what you picked up during the sales um, or let me know what's on your wish list. And don't forget, I have that luxury wish list coming out next week. There's some good things in there. There's some good handbags there that are under $1,000. So make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.